Smiles all around right now for Shannon O'Keefe. Trying to take care of the top seed, Kelly Kulik. Half a match left. 31 pin lead, so reason to be happy for now. Could definitely use to start putting some strikes together. Change the momentum a little bit of the match. Oh, Six frame on. works on a spare, didn't like it at all. That's why I came in high, almost had the big four. Not throwing it very good right now. Four, six, seven. <sighs> she lost her footing on that. She said she didn't, she's not throwing it good right now. I, I, I know, she's the bowler and we know when you know, we're not throwing it good, but she lost her footing a little bit there. Maybe your timing's a little off. Kelly, <laughs> Kelly's throwing the ball great for years. Uh, just don't think she feels comfortable on the lane right now. Looks like she got a little bit ahead of herself right there. As you can see, she lifted up on it. Kelly's usually a lot more steady at the line. Just got a little ahead of herself. A little more body body motion at the at the top there. She's had some footing issues a couple times Three. in this match. That did read well at the end. Good ball reaction. And all 10 down, but coming off the open frame at this point, the lead for O'Keefe is 45 pins. Works on a strike. Seventh frame, chance to go up by 55 pins. With a max score of 279. She is definitely in the driver's seat. Closing in a title, but can the longtime Team USA member get it done? That's the question. Oh, lay. Oh. That's a good start. Got it a little bit left the target, but with her ball speed, she is able to create hold, and that's what happened during the week is as the shot developed from the right to the left, you can increase your ball speed and create a little hold. Not in the beginning of the week, there definitely was not hold at all, but boy, she's showing you how to play these lanes the proper way. She is focused and right on target. Oh boy. Good break. Could have been a lot worse. I don't know. Like she <laughs> she like first released oh that boy. shot with a 2-5. <laughs> oh, boy, that light oh hit. Boy. That could have been a split. <laughs> Got it way right. That right there, I'm going to I'm gonna chalk that up to a little, maybe being a little anxious. She's way ahead in this match. She has a great look. Her first title is within her grasp. And all she needs to do is stay clean, fill frames. Good start toward that goal. Has a mark in the eighth. Kelly obviously in a must strike situation to put any pressure at all on Shannon. Ten pin for Kelly. Response, eighth frame. And a huge hole late in this championship match. Definitely a much better shot on this right lane. And that's that's really a testament to how mentally tough Kelly is. Made a bad shot on this lane, got a bad break, but gets up, makes a great shot, ring ten. There's a 10. Much more coverage of the PWBA Tour coming your way on CBS Sports Network. Continuing coverage. 13 events on CBS Sports Network this year, including all the majors. World's best bowlers in action. Year two, return of the tour. Kelly Killick, we talked about. You see the stat pack. The frame came in the sixth. Now looks on a spare foundation frame down by 53 pins. And I know what's going through Kelly's mind. I'm going to figure out this pair, these last two frames, so I know for next time. That's how she is. 
It's your best shot of the match right there. But come in the ninth frame. Classy shot. 12 out to about 9, 10. Great shot. Every, and the left lane wound up being everybody's friend, the one that everybody was saying was tighter. On the light hits, she's finally hitting high flush. Janet O'Keefe. Gets the late hit. And Shannon O'Keefe has wrapped up the match. Again, got this one way right, but you know what? We saw it on this right lane for each match. Still tried to get up there and got the help of all the other pins, knocking out the two pin. She's got enough to take home her first career singles title, second ever PWBA title. She won the PBA, PWBA, striking against breast cancer mixed doubles title last year with Bill O'Neill. Yes! All 10 down again. The messenger across the deck takes out the 10. Shannon O'Keefe of O'Fallon, Illinois, has done it. She knocks off superstar Kelly Kulik to win the championship at the 2016 Nationwide PWBA Sonoma County Open. More coming up. Shannon O'Keefe, a tremendous effort. Her first career PWBA singles title, 246-203 over superstar Kelly Kulik. Kelly Vanani from Nationwide is here to present the trophy. Kelly, come on in. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. On behalf of Nationwide, I'd like to thank the USBC and the PW, I'm sorry, PWBA for allowing us to provide support for the Nationwide PWBA Sonoma County Open. Um, Nationwide has been a proud sponsor of the USBC and it's nearly two million members for over seven years. Shannon, congratulations on a well-earned victory. You did so great. We're proud of you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Kelly, very much. Thanks for the support from Nationwide. You're holding the trophy. How's it feel? Feels incredible. This is something you dream about forever. And uh, I have my kids with me every step of the way, and, and they're the ones that keep pushing me. So this is for them. I know it's emotional. McKendree's your school. You talked about being a Bearcat. You're the mama Bearcat. I'm the mama Bearcat. It says on my sleeve. And you've delivered. This must feel great for them as well. I hope so. I hope that this just keeps pushing them to want to win their first national title. That's what a role model does. <laughs> I know that's a big part of what you do as a coach. You and your husband, Brian, both co-coaches there. We, we are. Um, my kids, I didn't know it would be possible for me to love so many kids um, so quickly. And they're a piece of me. This is one of their jerseys and outfits that the girls wear all season long. This is what they've won in all season long. And so when it was time for me to design my jerseys, I knew that this is one that had to be with me. So I would always have them with me all summer. Why is this so emotional for you and the Bearcats? I, our motto all year was you just keep coming. And I had a heartbreak to end the season last year. And my, the only thing I thought about when I lost the U.S. Open was I just let my kids down. So I just don't want to let them down anymore. So we did it. You, <laughs> so did, for them. you didn't let them down tonight, that's for sure. Do you have that phone? Let's I get do. the screensaver. Don't drop your trophy, please. I won't drop it. <laughs> there it is. 2015 U.S. Open losing on the bench to Liz Johnson. Now you have a new memory. I will replace it. This will be replaced in about 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and it'll look something like that. So yeah. maybe 100 times a day you can see the new screensaver. I'm sure that feels pretty good. Feels awesome. But we still have a long season left, and we just got to keep pushing. So, Congratulations. Thank Shannon O'Keefe, champion <laughs> on the PWBA Tour for the first time in singles. Congratulations going to Shannon O'Keefe, champion of the nationwide PWBA Sonoma County Open. Be sure to join us next Tuesday at 10 Eastern for the finals of the PWBA Storm Sacramento County Open. For Hall of Famer Carolyn Doran Bauer and our entire CBS Sports Network crew, it's Dave Ryan saying so long for the nationwide PWBA Sonoma County Open. In association with the United States Bowling Congress, it's been a presentation of CBS Sports Network, the 24-hour home of CBS Sports.